activities which help a person feel connected with the rest of humanity, I think helps people feel more valued and improves their self-esteem. We can reduce stigma, we can open minds, people can be themselves. They go away feeling really uplifted and actually that feeling can carry on for, for days after they've gone. I can finally do something fantastic with my life. It's, it's improved everything. Within us there lies inherent creative potential, whether it be through dance, whether it be through drawing, painting, whether it be through singing, whether it be through sport. We all have creativity within us. And Creative Minds is about releasing that creative potential to support people's recovery. Breathing Space is specifically for people with dementia and their carers. Part of the idea of Breathing Space was that it was an opportunity for people to come and have a good time together. We offer music sessions, movement sessions and visual art sessions. It's been doing actually like songwriting with people, so getting them to think about places they've been, things they've done, and then they end up with a group song, and then hopefully go away feeling a bit more uplifted. It gives a real point to the week. When there isn't a hoot on the Monday, we miss it, don't we? We do. Because it gives us some sort of structure, and something to look forward to. And I'm always impressed by the end product and think, gosh, you know, we did that. <laughs> and it's, it's an amazing sense of achievement. I wanted to find activities that I could do with my mum, and I heard about hoot, so I self-referred mum. Well, I've always been very wary about seeing in public, and I was really surprised that I could manage it. So <laughs> that was a real breakthrough for me. I'd never seen that part of mum before, and I was delighted to see. Um, that, was, that was really, really nice for me. I had got to the point of just sitting at home and just watching television and not doing anything at all. So it has made a great difference. Sometimes we can just think about things in a very biological way. So having a facility like Creative Minds where we know that people can take these first steps back into creativity, play, experiences with sound, colour, broadens the person's ability to cope and manage with life and enables a person to find their potential. The 4x4 journey consists of participants going on a 4x4 journey so they get to experience in a block of 16 weeks four storytelling sessions, four visual art sessions, four dance sessions and four poetry sessions. The project is for adults with learning difficulties who live in Kirklees and the idea is that they will learn new skills as well as boosting their confidence, allowing them to express themselves in a creative way. I am going everywhere, I'm going to feel active, I think what I want to do. It was good, it has really changed me. One of the participants was generally quite hostile at the beginning of the session, um, within 10 minutes he, he quite clearly loved it. And by the end of the four weeks, um, he was helping other members of the group, which was something that had been completely unheard of before. I used to let my disability get me down, but it doesn't anymore. It like, brings me, bring me out in my confidence. Bring, brings me out of my shell. I can't wait to come back, because it's something different. We were trying to set up a boat project to take people with health problems out on a boat. So the link between health became natural. When Creative Minds approached us, they did say they would be able to assist with some funding and it came at a really good time. We desperately wanted to refurbish this boat because it was getting very tired, uh, make it a little bit more accessible. And actually, I believe in having nice places for people to come. The service users, from my experience, need what I call ordinary services. They need to be like everybody else, enjoy recreational activity, enjoy companionship and the boat becomes a tremendous platform. It's a non-threatening activity, you go at two three miles an hour, you can get involved if you want in steering, opening the locks, making meals or you can just sit and chill out. It's quiet, it's relaxing and I think it, it has very significant therapeutic benefits. What Creative Minds does is to create the partnerships within our local community that enhance our service offer going forward. So if the mission of our organisation is to enable people to realise their potential and to live well in their communities, Creative Minds supports just that.
The project is called the Dales Challenge. The idea is to get people physically active, increase their sense of well-being through participating in a walk each week leading up to a residential challenge in the Dales. Creative Dives has been important in developing this project. It made us think outside the box and I think the ethos of Creative Minds I think has been helpful in developing something that's quite innovative and interesting. I was told that it might help me with my depression. For about three years I hadn't done anything. Even getting out of the house was uh, something I didn't particularly enjoy. But I was getting to know the people and realising that, you know, all right, we've got problems, but we're not on our own. It's better for independence, socialising, um, getting out instead of being stuck at home and stuff, and just keeping active, really. I felt a bit more refreshed, beginning to look forward to the next day, which is fantastic. The effect on the patient's mental health of these kinds of events is, is profound, and can often be the most therapeutic endeavour that we can offer to our patients. Sometimes it means that other kinds of treatment strategies that might be more conventional, we need less of them. The Pack House Gallery is a project from Support to Recovery, which is a mental health charity working throughout Kirklees. Anyone can come into the gallery, it is an open project, so we never know who's going to walk in. Some people come in for advice, some people are our regulars that come for, for the community sessions that we do, such as the knitting or the art or craft. Creative Minds has, has really been amazing for us. I suppose without them, I don't know that the project would have ever got off the ground. We can reduce stigma, we can open minds, people can be themselves, they can come up with ideas and we won't belittle them, we'll give them the opportunity to move forward. I suffered with depression for two years. I was referred by my doctor to come to the gallery and from then I've learnt so many skills I've learnt to knit, I've learnt to paint, and it's just made so much difference to my life. I was going through a really rough time in my life, and um, I had loads of artwork that I'd been doing, that I, I thought, well, maybe this is my chance to show people what I can do. And then I actually sold a painting. From where I was just over a year ago to now, I'm a totally different person. I'm so much stronger and it's made me want to do more. I can finally do something fantastic with my life. <laughs>